Hi, everyone. Three, the binomial and the proportion responses. So before starting, the, I would like to have an overview. So in this chapter, the response variable is the sample proportion, such as three out of five or And for example, the predictor of the data set is the hours of sleep in the previous night. And the response variable is the proportion of your wins when you play chess games against Dr. Johnson. So the, based on the hours of sleep, such as case of seven hours, there you win maybe the three out of 10, or you sleep only five hours, then you win only maybe one out of 15 and so on. So this is a version of logistic regression because if we think about the three over 10 as 10 observations of 111 and 000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 then um, it's a logistic regression. But there are several issues if these observations are originally the proportions. So at first, uh, maybe a positive side, the response is no longer binary. So three over 10 or one over 15 has um, more information than just binary response. And probably you have studied in the introductory statistics course that the sample proportion approaches to normal distribution, the normal random variable. So that fact that makes the sum um, asymptotic results. So there are several asymptotic tests that which work well for proportions, but not the binary outcomes. So that will be discussed in 3.2 and 3.3. And also some drawback. So as the response is made of several events, for example, 10 over three is made of 10 events. So there are more possibilities for violation of, violation of assumptions. For example, in the first few games, maybe you have the uh, higher probability to win, but after a few games, the, um, you get tired and the, still Dr. Johnson is very active, then the probability may change. Also, if you win two games in a row, maybe, um, so your mood is more positive and in the third game, you are more likely to win, that's possible. So that's kind of assumption that violates the assumption of um, this, the binary, out, the binomial, the outcome model in chapter three. So we need some, the modeling, additional modeling. That will be discussed in 3.4 and 3.5. And another issue is the response may be given just as number, such as 0 0.1 to 3. When you get the unemployment rate in Michigan, okay, so suppose that is 12.3%, you don't know what's the numerator and denominator. That all often happens. And also, so we want to deal with this kind of variable. So this is proportion. So still it ranges from zero to one. Um, and the if number is close to zero or one, then we have less uncertainty. So 99.9% .9 has very small uncertainty and 50% has the most uncertainty. So the, we would like to consider that fact, but still, the, even without the denominator and the numerator, we would like to have a model. So that will be discussed in 3.6. So this is an overview of chapter three.